I ordered this, I think, uh, Wednesday night, and I received it Saturday. So we had to get it in the mail Friday, and then, I believe, that's what I remember, then it's here Saturday. Great. BrutalArmory.com. So, cut the edges off. I have it upside down because I don't want to see my uh, address, any of that important stuff. Okay, so let's flip her open and see what we got here. More tap-up plates, version 2. Uh, some more bushings. That's kind of strange how the bushing got all the way on the other side. It's the lonely bushing. And here's some more bushings. Looks like the ZCI ones, I think. And then there's two uh, ZCI version 3 tappet plates. M150, M140, and M130. And I actually have many springs like this already. This is just backup stuff. Uh, it's, actually, all these parts are pretty much backup. And here's a trigger housing set for version 3. Here's an air nozzle we're going to use for uh, Tyler's gun. Another version 2 tap up plate. And this is an MP5 air nozzle, which I'll be working on uh, pretty soon. And another version 3 uh, Super Shooter Spring Guide. And then, if you want to know how awesome this is. Wow. The ends of this is really interesting. It's like some, it's like they heated them up and melted welded it together. I don't know if these are actually able to come out. These, because they look like they purposely melted that together. There's some grease in this too, so. Uh, it's not too smooth to rotate, but who really cares about that? The, the main thing that comes with these is how strong are they. In my last, uh, and this particularly how straight too, um, it looks pretty straight. In my last, uh, yeah, it does look pretty straight. What isn't straight is the poles, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is the inside here and all this, and that looks uh, straight. But my last one, the um, screws right here, uh, it was one from e Evic. They went to here but the threads were extremely tiny and so when I was doing the pinion they actually broke very easily um, so what I did is I took these out and uh, flipped the screws around I think or I had some other screws I don't really remember I just remember that that can work um, and redid this and it was able to work this looks really good um, However, this to me seems a little small here. I might modify this for the pinion a tiny bit. Uh, most pinions I don't think can drop in there. Well, actually, maybe so. It depends. This is bigger right here than the uh, inner area right here. So Everything looks pretty good though. I'll have to test this on a motor. And here's the other necessary pieces. And I don't really see an issue with this. I actually might really like this uh, as my main uh, pulley. I'm trying to see how stiff it is. I mean, it seems pretty darn solid, so only time will tell with that. Uh, but I think this is $22, and I don't see anything wrong with that. 
you could intentionally add grease in the uh, it looks like there is some on the threading here and on the other side but um, I don't see anything wrong with this this looks nice yeah this seems very nicely made uh, for the money so uh, that's it for this video uh, thank you Brill that was really quick